I'd like to thank you all for attending our design review. My name is John Minus. I am president and project manager of the Human Powered Submarine Team. We have about 20 active members on our team this year. Um, we're very passionate about what we do. We put in the time that we can. Usually comes out to about eight hours a week per person. Um, this year we've had tremendous faculty support with our designs and just advice in general on what we're doing. This summer we'll be competing in the 12th biannual international submarine race in Bethesda, Maryland. The race is a drag race, just a straight course. It consists of a run-up period, a gate, 45 meters, another gate, 10 meters, another gate, finally 45 more meters, and the final gate. We are judged in categories such as average speed, top speed, and overall performance in categories of propeller and non-propeller, one and two person submarines. And this is just a really exciting time for us. It's our crowning achievement of the year where everything comes together and we see the fruits of our labor. Speaking next is our design manager, Jeremy Werner. So we start out with uh, specific design goals and our first one is always to be safe. We have a person underwater in an enclosed space breathing through a hose. So we really bi build robustness into a lot of our systems. Uh, our second goal is to go fast because we want to win. Uh, to do that we really streamline our sub and we minimize the volume so we can accelerate faster. Uh, and lastly we want our pilot to be able to operate the sub with really really easily so we make them really easy to operate so that it can be second nature. There we go. Uh, when we started out we wanted to build a new hull this year so we started out with ergonomic studies. Uh, we tested the pilot's power output uh, by hooking them up to a generator and figuring out what crank arm works best. Um, then we put our pilot in a water tank and we had them start pedaling so we can measure their positions as they pedal. And there we got data so that we could build our hull. So once we got that data, we made a rough hull form and ran it through CFD. Uh, and we're still honing it down to uh, hull form and we're comparing it to last year's hull form, trying to make the drag coefficient as small as possible. Once we have our final hull form, we have two options for how we're going to build it. The first option is a female mold. Uh, if we can get that machined, then uh, we'll do that. Otherwise, we'll use a bead and code method and we'll make a, a plywood frame and lay foam strips across it and then put fiberglass up over that. Uh, either way we do it, we'll use the same composite materials. We'll use a core cell foam sold by Gurit and a uh, fiberglass mat. Uh, this is our drivetrain. We're doing you know, a traditional bike pedals. Uh, it's a direct drive because uh, we've had problems in the past with chains falling off, so we just have a couple of bevel gears in here uh, that we can uh, change out for different gear ratios. It's designed to be adjustable in two regards, first for the gear ratio, and second, it can be moved forward and backwards uh, for different pilot heights. We have one pilot who's very tall and another pilot who's a lot shorter, so we thought that was important. And again, it'll have a five inch crank arm. And Allison Ward is one of our lead designers. She'll tell you about our other system. In order to accommodate the new drive shaft, we had to change the control system. Accompanied, accomplished this with a set of concentric rings. This does slightly limit the turning angle of the rudders and elevators, but there's still plenty. To reduce drag, we've shrunk the size of the rudders and elevators and added stools. To make it the controls more easily operate, we switched the joystick to this new handle so the pilot can more easily operate the sub by turning and twisting the handle. 
It also incorporates the dead man switch from the safety buoy. A safety buoy is required by the rules that has to be released by a dead man switch. Did this by this mechanism which clamps directly onto the reel holding the line leading to the buoy. This prevents the line from tangling. It's designed so that the pilot needs to only use 8 pounds of force to squeeze the handle and 10 pounds of force will be gripped onto the reel. We are using the same latch for the pilot's access hatch as last year because it proved to be reliable. We are going to add access hatches throughout the sub that will be optimized in a good position so that the systems can be accessed for maintenance and so they will reduce drag. We're now going to open up the CAD model and show you the systems. All right, so this part of the presentation is a little less formal. Um, so we have, uh, we'll start off with our drivetrain. Uh, it's, we have bike pedals that attach to uh, these square ends right here. Those already exist. Uh, and then inside we have two bevel gears uh, that this one can be changed out or this one for different gear ratios um, and it's adjustable thanks to this shaft here we can uh, take it out and switch it out for a larger shaft uh, as we as we move the drivetrain up different stations Then our control system, we use bike cables to transfer motion from these pulleys to uh, this control stick up here. Uh, that's proven very effective in the past, uh, so we're keeping that. Uh, our gearbox is the same thing we used last year as well. It has three bevel gears. The driving one will be uh, this front one and that'll drive the rest of them and get us our counter rotation. Uh, we have our propellers here for those who are video conferencing. Well, you know what I'm talking about, your alumni. Uh, and these stools will be made out of Delrin. They'll be CNC cut uh, and that'll give us, they'll act as bushings as well. Uh, and they'll just sit in there. They're fared with the hull on these slopes. And lastly, our safety buoy is hooked up to a dead man switch, again by bike cable. And it, when it's open, this is uh, when nobody's holding onto the handle. And then when they squeeze the handle, it takes about eight pounds of force, but it comes out and it clamps onto the, uh, the reel. And we have about 10 inch pounds of writing moment when it's fully closed. And that's in <laughs>